Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, just hilarious. Charlemagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Charla is out now. If you're just joining us, we're talking about uh, something that April Jones said on. Uh, I guess she ranted yesterday on Instagram. You know, uh-huh. April Jones, Marion's baby mom. She was on Love and Hip Hop. Uh-huh. So what what did she say now? So she was basically upset because it was a guy that she is talking to and he lives in New York and she does not and he wanted her to come see him and she wanted to come see him but she wanted him to pay for her flight. Right. And he didn't. And so she had made that a whole thing, went online and ranted about it. How right. men are different these days and they expect so much of us without giving anything and basically, yeah, that's it. What are your thoughts on it? I feel like uh, it's like some things I agree with what she was saying. Guys, definitely. And I, and the reason why, I, so every guy is not like that. But a lot of guys are different, man. Mm-hmm. It is it, The climate of men have changed these right. days, you know. We do a lot more than guys do um, now. But I feel, I've always had a problem with a woman who feel like everything should be paid for. Especially, like, when you just start talking to a person, like, you don't feel like you got to pay for nothing? Like, the guy's in a whole nother city. Right. Cool. If if you want to see him as bad as he want to see you, what's wrong with you covering your flight? And when, when you get there, he take care of everything else. He might send you back. What if that was the... What if he just wanted to see if you would pay for something one time? Correct. And now he paying for, for stuff for the rest of the duration of whatever y'all got going on. You're right. And see... If I was, da- thank God I'm married. Because if I was dating right now and yeah. I seen somebody from out of town, I would be scared to fly them in. Yeah. I would be scared to fly them in. Then you have some relations. Then later on they say, well, that was sex trafficking, mm-hmm. right? Because th- that's what people have been saying. The definition has been the last yeah. couple of months. That would scare the ish out of me. Mm-hmm. So I'm with you. Yeah, I got money. I'm good. But fly me and l- let me know you want to see me as much as I want to see you. Right. Then when you get here, I got you. I got the hotel. I got yeah. dinner. You want to get your hair done, your nails done. Mm-hmm. You want to uh, have a great time while you're in town. I'll take care of that. Right. But show me you wanted to see me as much as I want to see you. Period. Let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Vaughn from Ohio. Vaughn from Ohio. Ohio. What's up? Talk to us. What you think? What up, baby? What up, Jess? Now, look, this is what I was thinking. First of all, Jess, you a real one, man. You a real one. Because, see, not a lot of females would have would have said that. You know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah. like, you're right, though. Like, for somebody not to play for, pay for your flight... And then you go online and throw a tantrum and mad because you can't get to New York. Like, chill. Like, That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And I and I feel like like nowadays, like borderline <laughs> ladies, like there's there there's a thin line between prostitution mm-hmm. and <laughs> being legal. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I feel like a lot of in today's day, a lot of females like, oh, if you don't have this, you're not buying me this, you're not doing this, then we're not doing nothing. And I just want to let y'all know, fellas, we have to start calling the police on them. Lock them up. Lock their ass up. This is prostitution. Now, this is what y'all should do. Next time she wants y'all to send money, buy her something, do it. Have sex with her and let her wake up to a police there. Let her hey, know. Yo. Goodbye, man. Let Goodbye, her man. Know. Yo, let her know y'all stand squarely. But you know what I mean? Like I said, though, I, I, I see what you're saying. Just, I'm just saying there's a thin line between you know, prostitution and... Absolutely, and, brother. Goodbye, man. <laughs> Lock these things up, yo. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Rijan. Hey, Rijan. Good morning. What's your thoughts, Rijan? Good morning. My thoughts is that I will fly myself in and then I will have some money just in case I got to fly myself home. So you wouldn't mm-hmm. you wouldn't expect them to to fly you out. You fly yourself in to see how it goes, and you you would you would be okay with flying yourself in. That's right. Yes, I would because you know I used to know this lady I studied with. She said if you're gonna meet a guy, have your way there and have your way back just in case. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Rajon. Thank you. Rico. Good morning, Rico. Good morning. Good morning. What's your thoughts, Rico? No ditty, man, no ditty. That's those those times is over with. They gotta fly themselves mm-hmm. out, no questions asked. It's not a debate. That's just that's just the way it is now. Mm-hmm. So it's no more uh, getting flued in. Nah, no more getting flued in, man. You see what's going on here, man? They try. It, it, if the girl gets flued in and she don't like her experience, she could go ahead and just say, "Oh, oh, he did this to me. He did that to me." Nah, you. They gotta be some kind of proof of uh you know consent consent 
Mm-hmm. Well, even if she flies herself in and she don't want to do it, that's just because she flew herself <laughs> in doesn't mean that's consent. You just you just can't do what you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All hey, right. no diddy. I said no oh, diddy. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Rico. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. If you're just joining us, April Jones. She did this rant on Instagram and asking what your thought is. Let's play the rant again. I I said said this before. I'm gonna say it again. I feel like always have yourself. If you got yourself, then nobody can ever leave you stranded. You can and never expect. Like, don't hold a guy at too high of a standard where you feel like he's automatically going to pay for something or he mm-hmm. is supposed to. He's not obligated to pay for anything. Right. Yeah. Like, I, get yourself there. I agree. I, I Nope. Nobody would get flued in. You know, you, you get yourself hidden. Yeah. And then, you know, then I'll fly you home. But you're not going to say, I I trafficked you from L.A. to mm-hmm. New York and then get, nope, it's not going to yeah, happen this me. is expensive prostitution. <laughs> expensive prostitution. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Jessica calling from Decatur, Illinois. Hey, hey Jessica. Jessica. What's your thoughts? My thoughts is is this. With April, you were seen with Dr. Dre, so I don't see how she was even entertaining a man that this is even a conversation because after you had a certain level of a billionaire, mm-hmm. you shouldn't even have to talk to somebody about getting flew out for one. Yeah. But if I did have to talk to somebody I will fly myself out just to show you that I'm a boss. Like what? But when I get there, Woo. you got to cover everything just to show me the energy back. Thank mm. you, girl. Thank Cause, you. Because I'm going to make sure that I get home. I mean, that's on me. If we talking like that, that's mm-hmm. on me. I'm going to show you I'm a boss. Mm-hmm. But you were seen with Dr. Dre, so I don't get it. Mm. Yeah, and where is Tay Diggs, right? That's what I was thinking. I thought you were <laughs> Tay Diggs. Listen, He's somewhere, somewhere with TikTok dancing playing. with a whole nother, yeah. So. Right, yeah, somewhere <laughs> dancing with a white woman. Jesus. I, Jesus. She, she ain't looking too good with this one. I, I can't be crying about getting flew out. Like, I'm a boss. I'm, I'm going to do it. I wish I would. Right. Right. Thank you, Mama. Hello, who's this? Mr. Coloma from Ohio. All right, I'm not going to repeat that name. What's your thoughts, bro? <laughs> hey, um... I'm not flying nobody out. Like, only brothers who got average to below average type game got to pay. Mm-hmm. One time, this is local. Don't do no planes. But there was a woman who called me and said she needed a tune-up. But she needed a babysitter. I said, call me back when you handle that babysitter issue. And then she called me back, and she needed a ride. I, I didn't feel like getting up. So she had to catch a taxi. I didn't think she was going to do it. <laughs> I was just on some because I can shit. Um, but she got a babysitter, paid for the babysitter, got a taxi over to my house where I had two cars in my driveway that are functional. But I felt kind of bad the next day, so I did at least take her home. Yeah, yeah. I was raised saying, what your the way out hell here. is wrong with you, sir? <laughs> you couldn't get out and, and I go get, get her? I got you. Yo, I got you when you get here. And, oh, by the way, Jess. Hey. Congratulations. You gave birth to a whole full grown baby 19 inch toddler. And already back at work. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> now, what's your name again? You know, this is how stupid I am. When it was like she needed a tune up, I was like, she needed a, a, a tune up for her car. But I just <laughs> no. caught what you said. I, nah, I she needed a tune up. I, 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 got, I got it now. I, I got it. Goodbye, sir. She needed some relief. I got oh you. My I God. understand, man. Goodbye. Now, that's different because they had two cars. She got the babysitter. She got after. Look, when she did call him and ask him for money for the babysitter, he said, no, all right, I'm with you. I'm not paying for nobody to watch the kids. But he couldn't come pick her up. She must have been. He, she must have been desperate, desperate. Yes. See, because I, you know, when a, when a woman, I would assume needs a tune up, right? Yeah. yeah. I would assume that there's a lot of guys that would be able to like, I'll tune you up. Yeah. Like, why him? Like, why yep. am I going to get a babysitter and take a taxi? Mm-hmm. When he got, caught? I, I don't know. He, he must, must have a give man out dingle. the best tune ups. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, who's this? It's Melo. Melo from Queens. Melo from Queens. What's, What's up, Melo? What's your thoughts? I feel like if they had a conversation beforehand, then it's all right for them to fly out. But if they did, then it's up to her to get out there. Mel- and then I got you on the way back. Okay, so you're agreeing. Like she got to get her ass, her ass over there. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And I got you on the way back. All right. Well, thank you. What's the moral of this story, Jess? Keep money in your own bank account. Be a boss, even if you're not a boss. If you're not a boss, you ain't. You don't have time to be messing with no guys. That mm-hmm. no, boss yourself up and be able to at least get yourself somewhere and get yourself back, please. Mm-hmm. And don't depend on somebody else to don't don't just assume that a guy is obligated to 
to fly you out. Like that's I don't know where that mindset came from. Pride of damn city girls. That's where that mindset I'm came sure. from. Yep. I'm sure. See, because see what's going to wind up happening for April. He's going to say, "All right, yeah, I got you. Your your you know, go to the airport. Your ticket's there. And when she gets there, it's going to be spirit." <laughs> it's yeah, gonna be spirit. Exactly. And she's gonna be sitting in the middle seat, no extra leg room, yep. and she got to pay for her bags on there. Yup, you pay know for what? Your own stuff. That that's actually true. You asking for you asking for a flight. You want a guy to fly you out? Yeah, you, you gonna find your ass in a, a, a emergency row. And it's gonna be connecting. <laughs> it's not even going straight from LA. Right. You're gonna have to stop in either Detroit mm -hmm. or Houston, and then you got to take a connection to JFK. All, all of that just because you don't want to pay for your flight. That's crazy. Uh -huh. All right. All hmm. right. Well, we got Jess with the mess coming up. What are we talking about? Yes, we do. Listen, LB Shaw is is posting cryptic messages about Quincy. Oh, boy. We're going to break it all down. All right. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.